Everywhere on Capitol Hill, members of Congress are raising concerns about swine flu. And the vice president is even saying that he's told his family members not to fly on airplanes. But we found one member of Congress who says, basically, don't worry about it. Listen to what he has to say. Paul, thanks for talking okay, to us. Very good. Now, you think we've all gone a little bonkers on this swine flu story? No doubt about it. I think so. Uh, way overboard. Hysteria prevails. I think more harm will come from this attempt to uh, calm the spread of this uh, infection than the infection itself. So far, uh, there's no evidence that people should be panicking. Even though, uh, as a physician, I think flu is serious. You know, uh, uh, thousands of people die every year from the flu, but not from swine flu. I think, but nobody, last year's 30 some thousand people died from flu. Uh, 644 people died from tuberculosis, 13,000 cases of tuberculosis. I mean, we have all kinds of problems uh, to worry about. So far, this hasn't proven to be a whole lot worse than a cold. They claim so many cases up in New York. Well, but nobody's been ad admitted. And then WHO comes out, World Health Organization, said, oh, there's 152 deaths. And then uh, today, I think they've changed that. Oh, there were only seven. Now, you know, uh, Every time somebody dies and they happen to have flu, doesn't mean that the flu is the only cause. Maybe they had a weakened condition for some other reason. Maybe they had a heart condition. So uh, this is very unscientific. This is all political grandstanding. By and and your governor in Texas has uh, declared a state of the emergency over this. Yeah, I think uh, he has jumped the gun. It sounds like uh, he's either confused or wants to get some attention or something. The whole idea of not allowing these kids to finish the baseball season is a little bit crazy. Wait, they've actually cut off cut, the baseball cut off, season? Cut off the baseball season. Now, I would advise as a physician, if you had some kids and you say, what's the best thing? I would say, keep up your regular routine, make sure they get a lot of sleep, feed them adequately, and make sure they go out and play baseball and get in the sun. And they're probably gonna be a lot better off than say, oh, don't move. And then what are the kids gonna do? If they don't go to school or whatever, they, they're gonna to get together and uh, if they can't be outside playing, they might be inside looking at video games, exposing each other. So uh, the unintended consequences of government actions are just overwhelmingly bad, whether it's foreign policy, economic policy, or now the management of uh, healthcare uh, through UN mandates. It, it's just outrageous. <laughs>